I'm just going to wait for a minute or so, allowing some people to join in before I start with the introductions. Our uh, attendees list is going up, so I'll just wait for another minute and then get started. Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to today's webinar on enabling effective municipal solid waste management in India. This is a public consultation workshop. Uh, I'm going to briefly talk to you about Be Wastewise, which is the organization that I am from. I'm the community builder at Be Wastewise. Be Wastewise is a nonprofit organization addressing the need for knowledge dissemination and waste management since 2013. We organize webinars with global panelists, moderators, and audience. The Energy and Resources Institute, Terry, and Be Wastewise, in partnership with the Incubation Network, is conducting a series of 12 online workshops for a city network in India. Uh, of select cities, which are Punjab, Varanasi, East Delhi, Surat and Vadodara, in various aspects related to solid and plastic waste management. These workshops would be scheduled over the next 12 months with experts in the field. This is the first public consultation workshop. We are going to gather inputs from you as well as our experts on the panel today to inform us on the topics that are going to be finalized for the rest of the year. Before we get started, let me just briefly introduce all the speakers that are going to speak today. I'm going in the order in which they're going to be called upon. We have Dr. Sunil Pandey, who's a Senior Fellow and Director, Environment and Waste Management Division at Terry. Laura Benz, Director, Programs at Second News at the Incubation Network. Kaushik Chandrasekhar, who's a Fellow, Environment and Waste Management Division, Terry. We have Shravanti Jeevan, Assistant Director at Central Public Health and Environmental Engineering. She's also associated with the Swachh Bharat Mission in India. Uh, Pradeep Khandelwal, Retired Chief Engineer, East Delhi Municipal Corporation. We have Mr. Legion D'Souza, who's a Municipal Engineer at the Corporation of the City of Panjim. PR Meena, Superintendent Engineer at, from the East Delhi Municipal Corporation. We are hoping we will have uh, someone from uh, Surat, oh, I think we already have. We have uh, Mr. E.H. Patan, who's the additional city engineer, Surat Municipal Corporation. So to start off today's public consultation, I call uh, Dr. Sunil Pandey to briefly talk about Terry and give a high level understanding of this collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, Shweta. Uh, and welcome all of you uh, in this opening event. Uh, of our proposed year-long association. Uh, what we propose here is a, a series of workshops addressing uh, effective solid and plastic waste management in uh, select cities. Uh, and uh, for this purpose, we have established a center of excellence at Terry, which will be operational at Terry, uh, in, as said earlier, in technical partnership with uh, B Waste Wise uh, for the forthcoming events in this year and probably beyond if uh, uh, this model we find uh, successful. Incubation Network has kindly agreed to support the initiative and we thank them for that, uh, recognizing the urgent need to train city uh, waste management officials on uh, these subjects, which, have, which are a global concern now. And uh, with this little background, I'll uh, uh, introduce uh, you all to Terry, uh, a bit about Terry. Uh, Terry, uh, uh, started uh, its operations in 1974 and it is an independent multidimensional organization with capabilities in research policy uh, consultancies relating to a research which we carry out and also implementation on ground uh, for various fields including climate change sustainable development uh, aspects so we are innovators and agents of change in the energy uh, environment climate change and sustainability space as said earlier and uh, what we do is uh, we, uh, ha we have also a resource efficiency and circular economy high on our research agenda. And we believe that uh, resource efficiency and waste management are key, uh, to basically, keys to basically smart, sustainable, and inclu inclusive development, especially in the context of, context of city. So in doing uh, in carrying out research, re research work related to uh, resource efficiency and waste management, uh, uh, we look at promoting efficient use of resources, looking at resource recovery, 
uh, recycling opportunities and also effective implementation of uh, these uh, aspects on ground uh, uh, where we work very closely with cities on these aspects. Also, uh, what we have uh, observed is uh, while implementing uh, or improving waste management on ground, uh, it has a direct uh, uh, linkage uh, not only with environmental pollution, but also climate change issues. Because as we improve solid waste management, uh, uh, we also address the greenhouse gas emission uh, arising out of uh, waste management activities. Terry as an organization, uh, we are headquartered in New Delhi, in India. And uh, we have regional centers and camp campuses also in neighborhood of uh, Delhi in Gurugram. Uh, we have a southern uh, regional center in Bangalore, uh, western regional center, uh, eastern regional center in Guwahati, western regional center in Mumbai. Uh, we also have a presence in Panjim, uh, and also a Himalayan center in Nanital, where we work very closely with farmers on issues like organic farming and uh, how to uh, uh, cultivate high yield uh, uh, plant varieties and uh, market them. We also help them marketing the produce. Uh, on the research front, we have around uh, 1,200 plus team of scientists, sociologists, economists, and engineers uh, who work very closely on issues related to uh, sustainable development, resource efficiency, and waste management. And uh, uh, we are supported by state-of-the-art infrastructure. Uh, what we are proposed to do uh, in this uh, uh, proposed uh, in the center of excellence, which is uh, supported by the incubation network. Uh, we uh, will work very closely uh, with the partner cities. And uh, as mentioned by uh, Shweta, the, these partner cities are East Delhi, uh, Panjim, Surat, uh, Vadodara, and Varanasi. We are very hopeful. Uh, we have already uh, also interaction going on with Vadodara and Varanasi, and we are very hopeful that uh, uh, our next interaction all onwards, they would also be on board. And what we propose to do uh, uh, through these interactions, initial interaction is to identify training and capacity building needs of uh, these cities uh, so that uh, we can develop training material and develop, uh, 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 deliver the training online uh, to uh, municipal officials in these cities. In addition, uh, as part of the project, uh, we'll also work towards researching and coming out with uh, state of waste report. Uh, which we believe that uh, would help in informed decision making uh, in the field of waste management. Uh, so with these few words, I'll uh, uh, close my remarks and thank you so much for being here. Over to you, Shweta. Thank you, thank you. So uh, let me just quickly call over uh, Laura from the Incubation Network, who's going to talk about the Incubation Network's activity in India and the purpose of this initiative from their perspective. Thank you, Shweta. I'm just going to share some slides. And hi, good afternoon uh, to everyone on the call. Really excited to be here and thrilled to see our city representatives on the call as well, along with all of you joining um, today. I'm just going to run through a very quick overview of us at the Incubation Network. So I'm the Programs Director here. I'm based in Singapore um, and we work regionally to tackle this problem of ocean plastic pollution. Now, this is probably not new for any of you. Uh, we all understand and every day we see the consequences of plastic waste being mismanaged in our communities, in our cities, um, in our countries. Doesn't really need an introduction, as it says on the slides. We know 8 million tonnes of plastic is entering the ocean every year, and five countries in Asia are responsible for over half of that pollution. Now this problem is complex, which is why it exists and why we haven't solved it yet. So what we think is that we need to really address the problem differently. We need to think about cities, about materials, about businesses, and also about economies to try and harness innovation to tackle this huge problem. So at the Incubation Network, we're taking a really kind of network or ecosystem approach we are aiming to foster this connected environment, connected ecosystem that really supports inclusive waste management and circular economies across the region. You can see we've identified a bunch of partners here that we work with. Um, we work with entrepreneurs themselves, so startups, capital providers or investors, corporates, ecosystem builders 
and you can think of things like accelerators and incubators in their own local contexts who are also doing this work. Um, civil societies, NGOs, local communities and governments, which is exactly why we are here today. Two main focuses. One, to really identify and build solutions to help solve this problem. The other focus, to support and create an enabling environments for these solutions to come to life. And at the heart of that is really this inclusivity um, theme. As mentioned before, five key countries in South and Southeast Asia are contributing to over 60% of that huge figure. Um, so we work in these five countries. You can see Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia. And today, obviously we're here to talk all about India. A place I haven't managed to get to for the last two years, but it is high on the list. Um, I've spent a lot of time in India over the part in the past and previous roles in with this organization. So excited to hopefully get there in person soon. But just a quick overview here of some, just a very small snapshot of the organizations we've managed to work with at the Incubation Network. Again, looking to drive solutions. Um, our partners include startups, entrepreneurs, there's a couple of accelerators here on the list, some really amazing civil society organizations here as well, um, some corporate partners, social enterprises, and more. And all of these organizations, we generally work with in two ways, by offering financial and technical support to enable them to eventually create the systems level change through their solution, through their startup, through their product, their service, um, the way they engage, key stakeholders across the value chain in their own community. So very, very contextualized. And hopefully you can all recognize a few really amazing names there on that list. I just wanted to close up by saying why this work is so important to us. So in taking that ecosystem approach, looking right across the network, bringing those partners together, um, we really do need that top down and bottom up approach to create systems level change. Not one of these things will work in isolation in, in solving this really complex problem. So for us, municipal governments play a really pivotal role in these recycling systems. As we know, often waste management and recycling is a municipal government responsibility, but it's really hard to do. It's very, very hard to execute in many of the contexts that we live in. And there's a huge number of reasons which make this so challenging. So for us, this is just five of the key things that we're hoping to be able to um, sort of give back and, and give into the program. And we're hoping to see some great results at the end. So we're really looking for some practical tools um, developing and providing them for governments with important knowledge, relevant knowledge um, and useful knowledge, I think, that will be able to make some positive change in local waste management systems. There'll be a beautiful advocacy and awareness building part of this project. So raising the importance of this work and also the importance and linking to the impact that poor waste management um, and recycling systems have on communities. And as we all know, that impact usually hits the most vulnerable within our communities, both community members, but also the most vulnerable in that plastics value chain, right? So think the waste pickers, um, the people who are really doing a lot of the hard work to get this material recycled. We're hoping to reduce the impact that COVID has had on waste management systems. It was one of the things that completely stopped for a very good reason um, across the pandemic in the last two years. But now is really the prime time to reprioritize some of this work and investment. Capacity building being a no-brainer, really hoping we can support Terry and Be Wastewise to focus on the domains that real will create real impact. Again, that contextualization piece is so important to help these municipalities really improve in their own local context, addressing their own local challenges. And then finally, a beautiful part of this, I think that Terry and Be Wastewise have sort of structured so well is the ability to build networks between these five cities. So that peer learning, that understanding of each other's experiences, what's working, what's not, will really benefit, I think, the entire group and hopefully more broadly, uh, municipalities over and above these five different um, groups that are here with us today. I'll leave it there. Just wanted to say a huge thank you both to Terry and Be Wastewise. Uh, really, really excited about this upcoming program. And again, thank you to your five cities. We really appreciate your willingness to get involved, your passion and your interest 
for the topic. And I think the importance that you're placing just by being in the room today, being in the virtual room today, the importance that you're placing on this work, um, it means a lot. And we really hope we can add some value to your experience over the coming 12 workshops. Thanks so much. Thank you, Laura. Thanks a lot. That was a pretty insightful uh, and quick, I would say. So uh, I'm just going to call uh, Kaushik now from uh, Terry, who is going to give a little more of a detailed plan about what we intend to do over the next 12 months. Thank you, Shweta. Uh, am I audible? Just wanted to do a quick audio check. Yes, you're good. Thank you. Uh, so let me at the outset uh, thank all the dignitaries, uh, the city officials, and uh, the participants for joining us today uh, in this workshop. Uh, before I begin with an introduction to this initiative, I would like to set some context. Um, um, you know, the uh, just just wanted to quickly check if my PPT has gone off. Uh, yes, we can't see your screen. Do you want to share it once again? Yeah, we're good. We can see it now. All right. Can, can you put it on presentation mode? One second. Is this okay? Yes, this is good. So, uh, as we all know, the Indian cities are at uh, the cusp of a transition and uh, they're noticing a huge population surge owing to urbanization uh, and in turn, the, the city administration is having to support this population surge with a basic infrastructure that includes solid waste, liquid waste management, water, sanitation, et cetera. So as, as far as solid waste management is concerned, we see that majority of the time has been spent uh, by the cities uh, in ensuring that uh, waste collection is being, uh, you know, completed, door-to-door -door coverage is being ensured, um, and, and aspects relating to source segregation and scientific processing of waste still continue to remain a larger concern. Uh, the COVID pandemic, as, as Laura mentioned, has, has actually worsened this situation. Uh, which is which has created a separate stream of ways to uh, to handle and deal with. Uh, looking at the current scenario that we are in, uh, the source segregation, as I mentioned, still remains uh, you know a, a cause of concern, impacting a lot of processing capabilities that the cities are trying to introduce. Uh, there has been a push to set up material recovery facilities. Uh, so that that can encourage the dry waste being diverted. Uh, recovery of land as, as far as bioremediation or uh, biomining is concerned is being considered by many cities. But again, processing capacities still remain the cause of concern with, with, uh, with most of the uh, you know, facilities working on a suboptimal fashion. Uh, the Swachh Bharat mission in its 2.0 format uh, of course, we have a senior official uh, who will be speaking more about this next, but just looking at what uh, the SWM is looking at, uh, largely uh, looks at achieving better processing capabilities, standardizing outcomes, and maximizing citizen uh, engagement and outreach through IEC and, and, and training capacity. Uh, but we do understand that most of these aspirations are actually facing a few roadblocks. So we've tried to look at the roadblocks uh, while, while kind of uh, addressing uh, why these aspirations are not coming through. Uh, just to uh, you know, uh, talk about a few, the low risk perception as far as solid waste management is concerned is, is one of the, uh, one of the uh, leading ones. Uh, we have a lack of informed leadership at, uh, at, at the city levels, uh, at, at uh, the local levels that we are talking about to take uh, you know, an informed decision on municipal solid waste, solid waste related, uh, you know, aspects. There has been uh, some confusion on business models. There has been, uh, you know, on, uh, on how these can be accepted on the larger front. Skill gaps as far as, you know, the urban local bodies are concerned is something that uh, most of these uh, city uh, administration are looking to, uh, uh, to, to address. Uh, and largely there has been, uh, you know, particularly for processing, uh, there has been a history of failure uh, 
uh, you know, with many waste management plants, uh, you know, coming down with, because of lack of source segregation, because of various other uh, technical aspects. So there is a sense of inertia. There is a sense of feeling that maybe uh, you know these newer initiatives will are also set to uh, fail. So uh, reform, as far as uh, the solid waste management sector is is going to be the need of the hour. Now uh, this could be achieved like what we envisaged is through creation of. Uh, uh, you know, centers of excellence. And it's a decentralized fashion in which this can be achieved where more number of centers of excellence come up in various cities in the country. They have the capacity to, uh, to, to, to achieve these outputs that you see in the screen, uh, largely to, to bridge the roadblocks that we saw in the previous slide, and also to take forward the larger agenda of improving the sector. I'll just maybe visit a few of uh, these points. Of course, one is increasing the risk perception, nurturing leadership at the local level. That's that's one of the most important aspects that such uh, 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 you know centers of excellence can look at. We can talk about training and capacity building. That is that is going to be a recurring activity that has to be taken at the local levels. Standardizing business models and procurement is something that many cities are looking at for support and and. Uh, this, this kind of a structure can encourage uh, you know, uh, knowledge sharing in between cities, cities which have achieved a certain level of success and those cities who are aspiring to achieve that success, right? So it could be a mix and match of both getting together, exchanging notes, coming together, maybe making visits to those plants which are successfully working. So, so this is what we kind of envisage as a part of this, uh, this kind of a set. So uh, the partnership of Terry, B based wise and TIN uh, aims to achieve exactly this over a period of the next five years um, as, as a part of uh, our aspiration in the first year, we would want to uh, interact and network with five cities as, as you can see on the screen, uh, Varnasi, Surat, um, uh, East Delhi, uh, Panjim and Vadodara are few. Uh, and, and we would also look at expanding these, this, this list of cities as the number of years pass by uh, and, and as we gain uh, you know, traction in terms of the quality of output that the center of excellence tends to achieve through its activities. So over the uh, scheduled span of 10 months, we wish to engage with city officials, city engineers uh, and, and to, to build their capacity. Uh, like Dr. Pandey mentioned in his, in his address, we would also look to publish a state of waste management report uh, covering aspects relating to solid and plastic waste management. And, and uh, this we, we've tried to put in some uh, you know, thought behind the structure where, where the representatives would you know, identify key sector challenges and solutions. Uh, they'd be trained on select topics. Uh, of course, we're going to talk about what those topics are and how we're going to crowdsource it. Uh, and also be introduced to uh, best practices. The last point is very, very important where the cities would be exposed to entrepreneurs who are relevant to the topics being introduced. So we would be giving an opportunity for relevant entrepreneurs to pitch their ideas as far as uh, uh, you, you know, their activity, their achievements and their solution to solve that issue, uh, uh, you know, which is relevant to that. Hi, it seems like there is some problem with uh, Kaushik's app and he seems to have dropped out. In the meantime, may I call upon uh, uh, Shravanti Jeevan, uh, who is a Swachh Bharat Mission representative, and she can give us, uh, she, she, she's going to address this group for about uh, two to three minutes. Thank you, Shweta. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, my name is Shravanti. I am working with uh, CPHEO, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, as Assistant Advisor. And I'm very glad to be a part of this public consultative workshop on enabling effective municipal solid waste management in India. It is a well-known fact that due to rapid urbanization uh, in the Indian cities, uh, it has put severe pressure on infrastructure and municipal services particularly in scientific management of municipal solid waste. This growth has created a lot of deficit in infrastructure services and municipal solid waste management especially. 
the elements such as uh, waste at source segregation uh, source segregation of waste at source uh, collection transport treatment uh, disposal of waste largely are uh, you know insufficient and uh, due to which the quality of our environment is degrading and uh, in turn indirectly have a poor quality of life so keeping in view these problems uh, government of india has launched the swachh bharat mission urban on 2nd october 2014 with an objective to achieve 100% scientific municipal solid waste management in all statutory towns and cities of our country uh, as you all know that it's been 6 years uh, that swachh bharat mission has been um, in progress and uh, it has brought a paradigm shift in solid waste management uh like for example in 2014 uh, the collection efficiency was only 68% but now it has reached to more than 95% and the processing also has improved from uh, 18% in 2014 to about 70% uh, at the moment now taking these achievements forward and uh, with the focus of uh, sbm 2.0 for the next 5 years would be sustaining these outcomes and generated and and create a momentum to to actually move towards the next level of swachhta uh, we all know that on october 1st 2000 uh, october 1st 2021 the honorable prime minister has launched the swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 with a goal to make cities garbage free completely free of garbage and achieve 100% processing of municipal solid waste under this uh, particular phase of mission uh, the emphasis would be on source segregation complete management of solid waste management um, and uh, including waste processing uh, intensified focus on reduction of single use plastic uh, um, focus on reduction of air pollution through uh, cnd processing facilities mechanized sweeping and remediation especially remediation of uh, dump sites and with these uh, we have set we have a set of expected outcomes from this uh, with respect to sustainable solid management sustainable solid waste management that is we aim to achieve 100% door to door segregation 100% source segregation of msw in all wards of the country processing 100% processing of all the uh, components of waste that is wet dry in separate uh, um, processing facilities uh, also safe and scientific disposal of inert waste and process rejects to scientific landfills 100% remediation of all dump sites and achieving relatively better quality of air through management of cnd waste in the 132 non attainment cities which have been identified by the ministry of uh, environment and forest uh, in order to achieve this uh, swachhta and uh, in order to achieve the outcomes that have been put forward cities need to take stock of their unique position their weaknesses and their strengths and work towards tailor made solutions to their problems and choosing an array of solutions that uh, that will be available to take up their waste management uh, and i'm very sure that this capacity building program will actually equip the city officials and engineers to put in their tailor made solutions and put together their solutions for effective management of their municipal solid waste in their respective cities so that we can move towards a step we can move towards the next level of swachhta in the days to come thank you thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak uh thank you ma'am i think uh, kaushik is going to continue with uh, the presentation so he can give more clarity on the proposed plan for the next 12 months yes so uh, i'm sorry my my video kind of uh, you know uh, got skewed uh, because of some technical issue so maybe i left you on this slide so maybe i can continue from this side itself so like okay. i mentioned uh, okay. uh, you, you know we can uh, uh, maybe you can keep your video off so that uh, uh, i mean you're not kicked out again sure sure yeah so so like i mentioned we are looking at 10 workshop ta uh, targeted at city uh, leadership and engineers and waste management uh, uh, you know uh, uh, related uh, uh, stakeholders each workshop would be for a length of 1 hour which would be followed by a pitch by an entrepreneur on a relevant topic um, and and these topics would also deal with gender awareness and uh, gender inclusive uh, you know panels are something that we are working towards 
and uh, we expect close to 20 participants as far as each of these targeted workshops are concerned. So uh, a quick look at uh, the public participation workshop that we are having for today. Uh, so why are we having this, uh, uh, this workshop? We are looking to source topics for the training scheduled with the cities. Uh, of course, the, uh, the audience today include uh, representatives from the city. We are also having uh, you know, experts uh, 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 you know, from uh, solid and plastic waste management on board. Uh, the idea here is to uh, you know, set a framework uh, around which we can source potential topics that can have uh, importance for each of these cities uh, who would be participating in these training workshops. Once these inputs are received, uh, we would finalize uh, these topics and share it with the cities for further inputs and uh, would be taking this ahead as a part of the training workshops ahead. So as a part of this exercise, we would be having four themes uh, and each theme would be uh, having subtopics that will be presented. Uh, you would be given as uh, an opportunity to vote against each of these topics. The voting screen would appear across which you can actually share your, uh, uh, share your priorities. Uh, I should mention that multiple topics can be selected uh, based on uh, how you feel they are important. The results for each of these topics would be displayed at, uh, at the completion of each theme. Uh, the additional topics, in case you feel there are additional topics that could be covered uh, under each of these themes, please feel free to kind of include them under uh, uh, you know, the chat box. And uh, the Terry B Waste Twice team is, all, you know, is, is following this chat box very closely and we will take uh, uh, you know, due cognizance of of, of these uh, uh, inputs coming in. So very quickly, I would want to run through uh, each of these themes. So the four themes that I spoke about is uh, uh, waste collection transportation, uh, processing and treatment technologies, waste management policy, rules, regulations, and bylaws, and uh, finance and business models. So uh, on, 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 on the first theme, that is waste collection and transportation, we are looking at a cumulative eight topics um, improving source segregation, informal sector integration, digitizing the waste management and trace traceability, impact-based IEC, city-level plastic leakage, uh, leakage hotspot mapping. Uh, we're looking at open burning and landfill fire, food waste diversion, and solid waste reduction at source through community behavioral change. Uh, for processing technologies, we have close to seven topics, like I mentioned, where, uh, uh, where we're looking at setting up MRFs, maybe dry waste collection centers, uh, setting, uh, 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 you know, uh, understanding centralized and decentralized waste management uh, processing technologies, plastic waste to oil, uh, RDF co-processing, which is which is something that most of the cities are looking at, uh, waste to energy, uh, uh, bioremediation, scientific landfill closure, and uh, biogas setting up biogas plants, uh, both centralized and decentralized. Uh, on the policy front, we are looking at, uh, you know, translating national and state level regulations into local bylaws, which most cities are looking for support on uh, solid and uh, plastic waste management bylaws, EPR policy and implementation, uh, some action plans which could be put in place for single use plastics because considering they're getting phased out, uh, marine litter, uh, you know, as far as coastal, litty, coastal cities are concerned. Um, plastic waste and solid waste uh, 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 contribution towards circular economy uh, and uh, solid waste contribution as far as the GHG emissions are concerned. Now, uh, similarly, we'll be looking at finance and business models. We are looking at potential five topics that we would look to cover. So, so before I close this session, I would request Shweta to go ahead and introduce these themes so that the participants can have an opportunity to kind of vote against each of the teams. Shweta. So the first poll is now up, which is based on the first theme. As discussed, you can choose uh, multiple options. If you feel that any topic that you think is important as part of this theme, and it's not there on this particular box, please drop it in the chat. Yes, we see results coming in. Uh, we're going to let this run for about a minute. 
to allow a chance for everyone to drop in what they think is important, after which we'll share the results and uh, Kaushik can weigh in on the result when we start sharing the results. Yeah, we see quite a few people participating. I think those who haven't participated, please go ahead. Please put in your inputs. We have another 10 minutes to go on this call. I'm sorry, 10 seconds to go, not 10 minutes. <laughs> so, yes, please go ahead. And we're going to end the poll now. So if you haven't responded, please respond. And I will share the screen now. Share the results now. Kaushik, here are the results. Uh, you can weigh in on the what the audience thinks. Shweta, uh, I, you know, for some reason, the, uh, the, the poll uh, results don't show up. Can you maybe uh, weigh in on it, please? Oh, yeah. So uh, we have about 78% of the audience who says improving source segregation, collection, and transportation is uh, very important. And, uh, and we've had 54%, which is the second most weighed in option, which is solid waste reduction at source through community behavior change. I can also see how the first option and the last option are kind of related, which is the top two priority that our audience thinks is important. Uh, what has been given least importance, which is still 22% of the audience, is result-based information, education, communicate and communication. Uh, we've had informal se sector integration, 37% of people think that's uh, important. 37% of the votes also say that digitization of waste management and traceability is important. 27% of uh, votes have come in for city level plastic leakage hotspot mapping and for open burning and landfill fire. Please note that uh, we will be taking your results in while planning the topics for the next, uh, while planning the topics for the next 12 workshops essentially. So I'm going to start the poll for, I'm going to start the second poll right now. Uh, let me stop sharing. Yes, I just uh, I just wanted to briefly add before the next poll that uh, you know we will also look at additional topics that are coming up in the chat box. Uh, we are taking note of that, and uh, as and when you feel there are additional points or topics that uh, are important, please feel free to kind of drop in uh, as re as relevant. Shweta, yes, we can poll please. So I'm launching the second poll. And I also wanted to add that our city officials are going to weigh in on these results as well. Kaushik will be calling them upon after all the four polls are done. So here you go. The second poll is up. Please uh, go ahead and tell us what you think is uh, most important for this particular theme. As usual, you can choose multiple options. We totally understand that. Uh, we know that multiple options are important. So the results have started coming in. Uh, we, we have a small percentage who's taken part already. Kaushik, do you want to add something about the processing and treatment technologies while we have another 30 seconds for people to vote? Yes. So I think what I would want to add here is that uh, we've tried to cover aspects relating to solid and plastic waste management. Uh, although there have been topics that we felt, uh, uh, you know, like for instance, our priorities for cities, uh, you know, plastic waste to oil um, and, and uh, setting up, uh, uh, you know, waste to energy plants. These are, you know, issues that the city officials do, uh, uh, you know, kind of grapple with. So that is the reason we've, you know, we've gone ahead with these topics. Um, a few additions are possible uh, and I look forward to getting those inputs. And as in when we get them, we are happy to kind of incorporate it in the larger list. All right, so I'm gonna stop this, end this poll now and share the results. We've had a good number that has taken part. Sharing the results here. Yeah, the I've top... got the results as well. Yeah. Oh, super, go ahead, uh, Kaushik. You can wait. Great. Yeah, yeah. so I think uh, as, as uh, uh, you know, uh, setting up MRFs and temporary collection centers seem to top the list with 62%. Um, and, and we do have very closely, uh, you know, a centralized and decentralized wet waste processing technologies, uh, followed by uh, waste to energy plants, whether should we do it or not. Uh, biogas plants follow it very closely again, 
And then we also have RDF co-processing and uh, plastic waste to oil, which, which, which comes immediately after that. So uh, I see there are uh, topics being added on to the, uh, to the chat box. We are uh, noting them down constantly uh, and we will kind of update those topics as we you know, present these lists to uh, the city officials. Um, Shweta, we're good to go for the third uh, theme out of the four. And uh, the third theme largely revolves around waste management policy rules, regulations, and bylaws. Uh, this, this, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, would talk about uh, you know how the national level uh, uh, you know laws and policy can be translated to the city context. Uh, EPR, which is a very very uh, you know uh, important uh, uh, policy which is coming up. There have been multiple revisions to the plastic waste management rules. Uh, those have to get uh, you know uh, incorporated as amendments at the city level. Uh, we are looking at uh, you know the link between land-based and marine plastics. Uh, you know that is something that the city officials are very very interested to kind of look at. Uh, of course, the GHG emissions is something that has a link with solid waste management, and we're trying to see how that can be explored as a training topic. So, um, Shweta, uh, if if we have some more time, maybe. Uh, we Let's just give it another five seconds and then sure. I will start sharing the results. Sure, sure. This one seems to be pretty close in terms of what people think. Uh, I'm going to share the results now. You can All see it, right. Yes. So I think uh, right at the top, we have translating national and state level regulations into local bylaws, which is, which is of great importance. Um, we have EPR policy and implementation uh, following it very closely next, uh, which is very closely followed up by action plans for single-use plastics. Uh, I'm sure many of the states and cities are looking at that. Um, this is again followed up by uh, plastic and solid waste contribution to climate change, uh, and then uh, by uh, solid waste contribution to GHG emissions. So yes, so I think uh, pretty much we were looking at three or four topics from this theme as well. And uh, we look forward to those inputs which are coming into the chat box and we will have them incorporated. We can have the next theme, uh, Shweta. Yeah, it's live. Yeah, this one's about financial assistance. Yes, so uh, the next theme is on financial assistance. Uh, this theme is largely to do with, uh, you know, the uh, financial initiatives, financing in initiatives, we're talking about uh, incentives, we're talking about uh, city readiness uh, uh, to address uh, these aspects financially, uh, innovative business models, we talk about, uh, uh, you know, these business models with cement plants for co-processing, we talk about various other business models for MRF instance, uh, you know, how they can uh, kind of uh, make it uh, financially, uh, uh, you know, independent uh, incentives for behavioral change, and of course, how uh, CSR could kind of uh, get about uh, a good amount of financial assistance for these initiatives. Shweta, do let me know once the results come through. Absolutely, the poll will run for another five seconds, and then we will have the results. Sure. Okay, here are the results. All right. So I think financing uh, infrastructure, I think uh, for waste processing is, is right on the top. Uh, this is followed by uh, the business models uh, to, to enable uh, more uh, you know, uh, technically viable solutions to be implemented at the city levels. Incentives for behavioral change is right up there as well. And we have, uh, uh, you know, CSR and uh, ISR very closely followed by that. Um, uh, financial readiness, of course, is also something that cities would be looking at, uh, you know, very closely. So um, we, we are having some uh, inputs coming in the chat box. I think we've taken note of that as well. Thank you so much for, for these inputs. Um, now, Shweta, I would want to uh, request... Uh, our city uh, uh, representatives to come over and 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 share their thoughts. So, because uh, the, the the final beneficiary is going to be the city uh, itself. So, it's it's obvious that we have to take their inputs in. 
Uh, we're going to do that in two stages. One, uh, we will be taking their inputs in right away. And uh, after putting uh, these uh, uh, you know, topics uh, together, we will be sharing it with each of those cities uh, to gather further uh, you know, uh, uh, inputs from them. I, I'd request uh, 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 Dr. Pradeep Kandelwal, uh, retired chief engineer, uh, East Delhi Municipal Corporation to, uh, to please share his thoughts on the topics, the themes, and what he feels uh, you know, are, are priorities for uh, cities going ahead. Thank you, Mr. Kaushik, and good afternoon to all. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Okay, okay. So, the, all the four topics are very good, but uh, the uh, training should be for the people, not for the city officials. Because city officials are so pressed for other works, so they do not uh, involve themselves in the segregate collection and uh, transportation. It depends upon the operator to do this thing. So wh what is happening is, uh, like in Delhi, we have a collection and transportation. We have the uh, processing unit centralized and decentralized. Uh, we have the policies, uh, the uh, rules and bylaws. We have uh, the financial arrangements also. Even then, we are failing it. So why we are failing it? We have to identify these four things. Like in collection and transportation, we are collecting almost 99% of the waste in the city. But segregation is a main failure. Source segregation is a main failure. So source segregation, people, unless until people understand the solid waste, what are their implications of the solid waste? Because they, do, they say only this is the responsibility of the government to collect and transport. That's all. But what are their ill effects? That has to be taught to the people very clearly. If it is not uh, segregated, if it is not collected, if it is not transported properly, then what will be the ill effect of these things? Similarly, in the plants, the uh, garbage is not reaching to the plant, otherwise it's reaching to the open sites or other places. So that is also one of the major issue. Uh, the city officials do not understand ki what is the importance of these plants. And the collection and transportation agency is also not uh, responsible to su uh, supply uh, enough quantity of waste to these plants because they are uh, they don't understand what is the advantage of processing of the solid waste. And in other two financial models and EPR etc is a naturally good things. So in the training program, this must be the public must be taken into consideration for all these activities. The so, so collection, so segregation is the main important and processing to the operators of the uh, collection and transportation units. City operation, the one more topic you may, must add is monitoring and auditing. Because we have all these facilities, but we are not properly monitoring it and not regularly auditing it, whether the efficiency, we are getting that efficiency or not. So I will say the monitoring and auditing is the main uh, issue for this training. That is must. Thank you. Thank you, Pradeepji. Thank you so much. I think this was very useful. Uh, monitoring is very, very important. That is something that we've missed out on. We will include it as a part of uh, uh, the list. Uh, plus... in, the monitoring, in the monitoring, nobody should be blamed, but they Absolutely. should be taught the importance of that monitoring. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank if you, sir. I will be saying that uh, yeah, I'm not properly supplying the waste to the plant, then I will not listen. But what is the advantage of supplying to the plant or processing of the waste is more important for monitoring purposes. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pradeep Ji. Thank, Thank you. So much for that. Thank you. Um, we have taken in uh, your comments. Uh, we will have it incorporated into the list of larger uh, comments over here, the topics here, and we will have this floated with the city officials as well. 
Uh, next, I would want to request Mr. Legion D'Souza, uh, Municipal Engineer from uh, the Corporation of uh, City of Panjim, please. Yeah. Uh, good day, everyone. Legion here. Uh, I've added several points in our uh, chat box that we would like to consider. So many of the things that uh, we are facing as a small uh, state, uh, small uh, city in the state of Goa, being a small state itself, is that storage of waste is a problem. Then end-to-end -end disposal of waste also is a problem because uh, we don't have a lot of recyclers in Goa. Uh, we have to send waste outside to different other states like Karnataka or Maharashtra. That causes an issue. Then uh, the GST uh, component that has been added recently to the uh, recyclables is a major hurdle for us because uh, the recyclers don't find it valuable to collect waste from us. So there is no point of them buying it and that is causing an issue. Secondly, also storage of waste. So there are people who are ready to take waste, but uh, they want it to be stored in large quantities. And being a small state, being a small city in the state of Goa, we don't have that much space that we can store this waste and then uh, sell it out to recyclers. Then uh, implementation of uh, policies. So I feel that uh, the city or the state fails in implementing various policies that have been uh, put down by the state, uh, by the central government or the pollution boards we fail to implement this in our day-to-day day uh, uh, day activities, and that is why waste is uh, the management of waste is suffering. So also uh, the financial incentives. So if uh, there are uh, there are communities or there are places where best practices are being carried, they should be incentivized so that they improve more over that. And this should be brought to notice to various other states or cities wherein this uh, similar model will be uh, worked out. And it would help the whole country to evolve and become better in, uh, in the full uh, of the world. So also uh, the financial implications that we uh, get involved with, like uh, we spend money on uh, RDF disposal and all the other things. This, uh, I feel that there should be an environmental audit of such that how we are, uh, like the money that we spend, how the environment is benefiting through the money that we spend. Because what happens is the municipality or the corporation or the government institutes, we try to audit it only on a monetary basis. We don't try to audit it on an environmental uh, functioning basis. So I feel that environmental audits also should be a part of uh, the system wherein uh, this can be uh, this can be monitored. So I feel that these points should be considered, and uh, maybe uh, this will be uh, very beneficial to the state as well as to the country. Thank you. Uh, Kaushik, are you there? Yes, 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 Shweta. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Legion. Thank you so much. That was really useful. Uh, we would like to, uh, you know, uh, mention that there are a few very important points that have come on from here. Uh, GSE from recyclables is something that is a worrying aspect. Uh, but, but of course, we would like to incorporate that as a part of the list. Uh, financial incentives, you know, uh, as far as Panjim is concerned, uh, Panjim looks at shop with your waste campaign. Uh, you know, this is something that looks at incentivizing behavioral change. Uh, we are also looking at uh, getting more garbage cafes, uh, you know, having uh, implemented in Panjim as well. That is also, you know, a, a part of, uh, you know, financial incentives coming through. Definitely taken, uh, Ms. Legion, thank you so much for that. Uh, uh, for the list of uh, topics, we've taken cognizance of that. We've made, you know, we've made a note of it. Next, I would want to invite uh, Mr. P. R. Meena, Superintendent Engineer from uh, East Delhi Municipal Corporation. Sir. Uh, Meena, sir, are you are you there? Oh, sir, sure. yes, sir. I am speaking. Yes, yes, I can hear you, sir. Yes, please. Yeah. Ji. Sir, 
आवाज क्लियर नहीं आ रही सर आपकी सर सर कैन यू रिपीट योर क्वेश्चन टू मिस्टर मीना सर सर व्हाट वी वांटेड इज सर वी वांटेड टू हियर फ्रॉम यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ व्हाट वुड बी पोटेंशियल टॉपिक्स दैट यू माइट वांट टू ऐड ऑन टू आर लिस्ट दैट वी जस्ट डिस्कस सर in case you feel there are any other standing issues that we need to cover as a part of uh, the topics and uh, so, if you feel there are anything that we have left out on sir this is very useful topic sir and that is no more sir okay okay thank you meena sir thank you so much for this uh, we will then move on to our our next city uh, uh, so do we have uh, patan sahab with us uh, sir uh, Uh, i i would like to invite uh, uh, mr eh patan uh, from uh, the city of surat uh, sir patan sahab yeah good afternoon everyone good afternoon sir uh actually i gone through your presentation and details uh, there may be a uh, various kind of the initiatives required to be taken up at city level but uh, it depends on the experience of each city Uh, uh like uh, uh, in my city particularly if i am talking regarding surat we do not have the ngos uh, as much uh, like like in amdavad there are so so many ngos but in surat there are one tenth of the ngos available in, in the city of the surat so uh, in that case the awareness among the people is little bit difficult so how to make people aware is a very much it should be very much uh, uh, it it should be initiated uh, at a high level or the, it should be uh, taken up at a top priority so that if you are getting the waste in a segregated way i think most of the problems of the downline projects uh, will definitely be very much successful uh, the money is nowadays is not an issue even in 15 finance commission or even in uh, sbm 2.0 uh every ulb is getting enough money to set up the treatment facility or transportation facility or transfer station or even uh, getting money for the door to door collection vehicles and everything even uh, remediation and uh, bio mining and everything every ulb is doing this kind of the projects but uh, to go for successful uh, implementation of integrated solid waste management system Uh, according to me awareness is a prime important and how to go for uh, this should be taken up on a priority uh, to make aware the uh, students of the colleges schools uh, various societies uh, maybe some uh, initiatives taken up uh, by ic uh, through ic activity activities as at uh, social functions and like that so uh, according to me your all topics are very good but this awareness among the people should be uh, given a high priority thank you thank you thank you patan sahab i think uh, this was very useful i think this is a recurring topic that is coming i, I think we will consider including uh, uh, the the masses as well uh, in 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 uh, the training programs uh, awareness is an important topic and we are trying to Uh, customize each of these topics as far as each city is concerned uh, we will be reaching out to each of the cities uh, after putting together all of these topics so that you know in case there are any further inclusions that are there we will uh, you know have them considered as well thank you patan sahab thank you so much for that uh, uh, thank thank you just wanted to bring one point also sir please uh, it it's regarding the uh, successful of the waste to energy projects so uh, the policies from the electricity uh, that is uh, regulatory commission uh, maharashtra merc is doing something else gerc is doing something else so centralized policy for this electricity regulatory commissioning is much more needed so at sir, policy sir, level sir. also policy level also some state sir, level sir. or the uh, national level stakeholders should be uh, involved uh, sir, to sir. to fi uh, to to uh, see that a common policy for uh, to uh, for waste to energy projects should be sir, drafted sir. in such a way that every state following the uh, the same norms and same rates and same same uh, uh, concession etc that's all thank you sure sir sure so i i think this is this is also very useful sir many many of the cities 
uh, you know, we had worked with also uh, were looking at such such agreements, the concessionaire agreements that they sign up for waste to energy plants typically, and um, uh, we will have this, uh, you know, considered, sir. Uh, thank you, Patan sir. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. We would want to um, invite uh, Mr. Ashok Kanodia, uh, sir. Uh, Kanodia sir, are you are you uh, there, sir? Uh, in case you have any inputs to add on, sir, we would uh, be happy to take them in. Sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Kanodia, you're uh, muted. So in case you're there, you'll have to unmute yourself. Maybe he's dropped off, uh, Kaushik. Okay. So so uh, I think thank you. Uh, uh, you know, it's a big thank you to all the city officials here, uh, the city representatives for all your inputs. We have taken in, uh, uh, you know, and noted down uh, most of the topics that you've given in. Uh, we have a track of the chat box as well. Uh, we have keyed in an email ID on which you can reach out to us on after this workshop. If you feel that you know we've uh, missed out on anything, or maybe you have missed out on sharing some potential topics that you would like us to cover, you can feel free to write to us on this email ID. Uh, we will have uh, you know those topics considered and evaluated too. Uh, so as, as a part of the way forward, I wanted to update that there are a list of, uh, uh, of, of topics that we have put together. These lists would be shared with the city officials uh, for a run through to understand if there are any further uh, topics that we want to cover. From there, we would be uh, you know, organizing these sessions, 10 in number. Uh, uh, we will keep all the, uh, uh, the stakeholders updated on the progress. And uh, we look forward to engaging with the cities uh, on, on, a, on a regular basis on, on uh, aspects relating to capacity building and training. Thank you so much once again. Over to you, Shweta. Thank you, Kaushik. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot uh, to all the Thank people you. who joined in to speak today, uh, especially uh, special thanks to all the city officials who we're very sure have to squeeze in time in the midst of their super busy schedule as well. So thanks a lot. Uh, and thanks to all the audience members who attended because your inputs have been very valuable. And like Kaushik mentioned, we have taken in your inputs and the topics are going to be finalized based on all these inputs put together. And for those of you who asked if the recording of this session is going to be available, yes, it is going to be available on Be Waste Wise's YouTube channel, as well as a Be Waste Wise website. But if you have signed up, you will have access to it on Zoom as well. We've dropped two email IDs, one of uh, Nikhil Prakash at Terry and the other is connect at wastewise.be. If you think that there's anything else that has to be added, or some of you have asked questions about how you can be involved, please drop us an email and we can take the conversation further over there. So thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot to everybody. And uh, we will please go ahead to our website and you will get to know the future, what we're planning to do in future. Bye-bye. Thank you.